Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys uh, have Jeep Cherokee, Jeep Renegade or Jeep Compass with a 2.4 multi-air engine guys and uh, you need to replace your oil, filter, cooler, housing or you have an oil leak from the oil filter, cooler, housing guys will, uh, will explain where the gasket is, all that stuff, how to remove and how to replace it today. You do not have to remove your engine out of the car while we have it out guys because we'll be having more than 100 videos on that engine alone guys and we want to show you with the great detail where things are how to access things how to remove and replace almost everything on that engine in addition every car we get at the shop we'll make guys at least 200 videos our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can so please subscribe to the channel and like the video let's start on it now and show you guys what we need to do in order to get that oil oil cover out and uh, remove the gasket as well now if the engine is in the vehicle guys you will need to drain your coolant this one will be the first thing to do you need to drain your engine coolant and do that only on cold engine otherwise you can severely burn yourself if you want to see the video we have the video on the channel how to drain coolant check it out uh, you have a plug on the radiator that you need to unscrew but a few other things guys make sure engine is cold so you don't have pressure in the cooling system open the radiator cap first carefully not to spray in your eyes second start draining the coolant after that after the coolant is drained guys uh, and again you want to make sure engine is cold because you have hot uh, engine oil here as well we'll be able to start on the procedure now guys with a 10 millimeter socket okay we're going to remove that uh, thermal shield right here guys okay we'll have three bolts that we need to remove okay one okay let me just point that way so you can see the other one is towards the back next to the exhaust guys so you don't have to remove your exhaust manifold but if you want to check out the video on the channel uh, it's not complicated to remove but definitely guys not worth it to remove it okay when you just need to uh, remove that thermal shield bolt take you a little bit of time okay this one came out too we just have one more after that right here you need to have something to collect all the oil and coolant that, that will leak out because even though guys okay you remove uh, you drain the coolant you still have some coolant in the cooler here and in the lines as well so let's see if that thing will slide out now of here or it's going to come out when we remove the cooler guys we'll see it may just stay up there now we need to go ahead and disconnect the hoses two hoses okay one is inlet hose one is outlet hose so grab them with the pliers squeeze that bracket okay we we'll need to push it up now you need to grab the hose with the pliers and gently move it guys twist it around because uh, it will be stuck there and looks like this hose is still holding a little bit so we'll see if we can uh, screw that thermal shield up a little bit more okay just grab and pull it up and that way okay we got the hose clamp loose now we'll see if we can get a screwdriver if we can help it come out but careful not to punch a hole in the hose guys because it's super easy to do that by the way okay grab it again, again with the pliers and turn it a little bit because otherwise it will be stuck probably it's stuck on top okay right here I can see where it's stuck so okay now it's moving the whole thing is moving now so let's see if it's going to get loose okay looks like it's loose but this is a short hose guys so later when we pull the cooler i think it will come out uh, because this hose is very short and we cannot contract uh, like uh, compress it enough okay to pull that thing out so we're going to remove that thermal shield up it's aluminum shield so we can form it later around the holes 
Go ahead and get that clamp out now. Same thing, let's break that one loose with the pliers now. Let's just turn it gently. Okay, and these pliers are a little bit loose. You can help it with the screwdriver at first to break it loose a little bit, then you might turn it with the pliers. You just have to be careful not to damage anything. Okay, looks like this one is loose too now. We're ready for the next step. Remove your oil filter, guys. This one will be the next step. So let's see how tight that thing is now. Always, guys, use gloves. Eye protection as well. Check out now all the oil that will leak out. Okay, perfect. This one's ready too. So we need a 12 millimeter Allen wrench, guys, and uh, we have this one. Uh, we have the links where we can get a socket that size, deep socket. We'll be able to do it with this one. Ours is shorter, but it will work out, guys. Okay, you can see that bolt starts coming loose, oil will leak out everywhere, that's normal. Okay, you can see how long that bolt is, check it out, pretty long, right? Now, what else we got here guys? Okay, we need to still remove our hoses. So we need to hold that thing and start wiggling the hoses out. And unfortunately, you have to do both kind of like almost at the same time. First one of them, then the second one, because they will be, guys, okay, they will be holding. So we'll get a screwdriver, try to help it a little bit. Okay, you can see this one came out. Coolant will leak out now. Okay. Now the second one. Okay, we're trying to gently collect it, guys, here. Maybe that was too gentle, I don't know. <laughs> but we got it out guys now be very careful how you uh, move the hoses with the pliers because you can see we make ours look kind of like eggs so we need to squish them back here because we uh, flatten them a little bit this is guys uh, your gasket right here and this is uh, this practically gasket guys is integrated in the oil core okay as you can see uh, Probably you might be able to replace it, but we'll have the links guys in the description of the video below If you develop a leak, it's from that gasket there Hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you guys having uh, Having that problem and you need to remove okay or uh, Remove the oil core or replace the gasket. Thank you for watching putting it together is in reverse order with two kilo power Don't forget guys to bleed your cooling system. We have the video on the channel and see you guys next time